What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to my Let's Play of WWE 2K17, my career mode. Welcome to a fine Saturday. There were a few things I wanted to cover before I get into this match with Randy Orton, and I know sitting on his menu is risky because this is where the game usually crashes on me. But I wanted to point out a couple of things here. Number one, the t-shirt sales feature, which I think is actually pretty cool. Um, that encourages you to change up your attire. Now, I'd already planned on changing up my t-shirt to have actual shirts that I have in this game uh, on a weekly basis, but if I can keep on selling what I currently have and, and then wait for it to dip, that is what I will do, and certainly I have, you know, hat changes in mind as well as I, you know, have a variety of t-shirts and hats that you see me wear on this channel. Also, the Paul Heyman challenge is only when you get a belt, and I've heard that when you get into the Heyman Challenge, it's a lot of the same stuff that was in last year's uh, Authority Goals to get into the Hall of Fame Challenge stuff. Now, the actual Authority Goals this year, they actually they, they give you a list here, which I ha had not noticed before. You literally get a list of all the different Authority Goals, and I've done, like, one of them. Yeah, reverse the, the, the finisher. So, I'm not sure what happens when you do all 49, if that's a, an achievement, a trophy, or what. Um, but that's, you know, interesting. So, let's get into it here with Randy Orton. I've decided not to leave the tag team division just yet, only because I'm already ranked 5, and you don't get the Heyman Guy Challenge until after you get a title. So, certainly, getting those tag titles first seems like a good way to, uh, get that show on the road. So, I'm gonna do a show opener promo, and, uh, I'm gonna continue to promote myself. Because that is, you know, what I do here on this channel. So I'm going to be a little bit delayed in getting my top rope diver scale. Only because I just spent a bunch more VC on another move pack. And that is because I saw a video this morning that said, Hey, this move is broken. Paris, France. It makes it so that your opponent can't get up. And I want to test that theory today. Alright, I am on the show opening promo. I am the hot new fresh face here on... SmackDown and Raw, let's see how badly I can botch this one today, because yesterday didn't quite go so well. I'm not sure if they want you to cut a pro if they want you to cut a promo every day or not, uh, but if it's going to help your VC, then I guess why wouldn't you, you know? At the same time, it is kind of like I'm already kind of tired of it, so uh, having to watch this particular animation over and over again where he's like, shh. You all know my name. My name is a tax log, but you, you already knew that. Some might not like what I have to say. Strong reaction bonus. Well, get ready. You're about to find out why I'm out here, and some of you might not like it. I'm a new class of superstar. I'm a new class of superstar. Is that a face or heel? That both? The fans are eating it up. Oh, the fans are eating it up, sure. Have been overlooked for long. There hasn't been anyone since John Cena to really come along and take the mantle. Be the face who runs the place. That changes today. It's time for a new class of superstar led by me. S L U G. What? That bar is still not filling up very much. So uh, I'll always tell you where I stand. Yes, that is the motto of this YouTube channel: is to always tell you. Poor choice. Fuck you. Uh... You want to know something? You don't have to ask. I'm going to tell you, whether you like it or not. See, that's... I'm always going to tell you where I stand. That could be either face or heel, depending on how the discussion goes. And there's no way to know that going into that little line. It's, it's, like, it's like Mass Effect. You don't really get the tone and the context. All you get is the line of what you think it might be, and then it ends up being what you don't want it to be. Like, for me, t telling you where I stand is a face thing. I'm just getting warmed up. Strong reaction before I go full nuclear. And when that happens, you don't want to be a quarter mile of where I am. Is that face or heel? I don't even know. I don't know. Like, saying I'm, gonna t I'm going to tell you where I stand sounds like a, you know, for me, a face thing. That's what I do here on, on YouTube. So, I don't actually know. The commentators seem to enjoy that promo. Uh, only had, you know, a quarter of the bar there filled up, but I gained some fans, and I gained some VC, and getting VC there, that's the, the whole goal of the fucking game, so. Well, let's get into this Randy Orton match again. Okay, 
Mr. Randall Keith Orton, who I beat on Raw, we're going to fight again, and I'm going to see whether or not I can do this uh, maneuver to you. Uh, that is the question. So, the maneuver in question is the Yura Shao Ten, uh, which is a strong back grapple. Uh, and the distinction is that they can't get up when you do it, so I gotta get him reverse from behind and do it. Anyway, it's Saturday. There, there, there is news. So while I'm trying to get that that one move to work, there, there is news here uh, on this fine Saturday. And one bit of it I forgot, I forgot to, to cover yesterday, which is Mickey James gonna be in NXT Toronto, uh, which is cool. So congrats to her. Uh, hopefully they they don't bring back the whole Piggy James thing. Like seriously, very disrespectful. Oh, crap. I didn't... I, I thought I was b behind him, but not quite. There is a way to pick him up and have him be facing the other way, and I I want to say it was down on the analog and not up on the analog, but I could be wrong. Anyway, more TNA business. Like, holy shit, more TNA business. Uh, they are three-point powerbomb. 3.4 million in debt, or they, they, they owe 3.4 million to a variety of companies. Uh, apparently Anthem, who uh, their parent company is the Fight Network, uh, has bought part of the tape library. No one knows what part. Uh, that kind of, I guess, pr precludes WWE from, you know, they would have would have wanted the entire tape library, so that's unfortunate. Um, but they also owe money to the state of Tennessee. And uh, that gives Tennessee the right to seize their property if they see fit to, uh, you know, recoup their losses to TNA, which is uh, frankly insane. Insane. Um, so yeah, that, that situation is still ongoing. I have my concerns about uh, them actually making it out alive from this situation. Pick them all the way up. No, not front facing, you idiot. I'm hitting down on the... down. Here. Alright, this is the Yura Shao Ten. Now, here's the question. Will it work? Here is the glitch. Use this move, and your opponent will not get up from where they are. Period. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit here, and yeah, this totally works. I can sit here and taunt. I can do the wake-up taunt. Like, I can go to the corner and play to the crowd. Randy Orton taking a nap, folks. Randy Orton taking a nap in the ring. He's just too tired for this shit anymore. He's a 12-time world champion. So, now I'm going to assume if I go to pin Randy Orton uh, and pick him up, then the match will continue. But, yeah, I can't I can't do the, the L2-R2 to drag him. It won't let me. So let's try type. Let's 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 try, try pinfall here. Nope. All right. So all it does is knock them out and keeps them on the ground. Which, if you were trying to set up something cool, then yes, that's a good thing to do. But otherwise, it's not super useful. Like you can do it, and you know, then go get a table or a chair or a ladder. If you were in a ladder match, that is an instant win for a ladder match. So if you're playing online matches, perhaps don't play ladder matches because someone's gonna could have had that move on there, create a character, and then you're just gonna lose. So that's kind of crazy. Nope. All right. Otherwise, uh, in news, we have Bill Goldberg officially signed to the Raw brand, which is weird because he's probably gonna work one match. So why even sign him to a brand? Like he's fighting Lesnar, sure, so that it makes sense that he's on the Raw brand, but you know. He's signed to the Raw brand, I'm like, he's gonna have one match. He's only said he wants to have one match. Like, I seriously doubt he's gonna have more, more than one match. But Randy Orton here, running roughshod over myself. Uh, and so, yes, Goldberg lost to Orton. Oh well, he got his win back. Goldberg on Raw uh, this Monday. Lesnar on Raw on the um, 24th, I think. And no Goldberg. And then supposedly both Goldberg and Lesnar on the Go Home show, which is November 14th for Raw. So 
that could possibly be the only actual interaction between them face to face to build this match, which is weird. I'm going to give this about two weeks without buying the My Career Kickstart. Holy shit, Baron Blade is in this game. What? There's a fucking throwback. Anyway, I'm calling out Bubba Ray uh, for my mid-card, uh, and the game crashed. And the fucking game crashed. Thanks, video game. Appreciate it. I want the My Career Invasion feature turned on. I think it's a cool feature, but having this crash every damn day because of the internet is really, really frustrating. Calling out Bubba Ray because they're the next tag team above us in this tag team division. And I don't know how long it takes to rank up in this stuff. Certainly having only singles matches is not really helping, so. Alright, middle card promo, let's do this. As I was saying about the kickstart though, uh, I'm going to give it two weeks. And if I'm still doing just terribly and not m moving up in the world at all, I will buy that damn kickstart like I did last year. Because last year, if I didn't buy it... I'd still be playing 2K16, and I can't have that for, you know, 2K18 next year. Come on. Alright, let's try this call-out promo and see how it goes. Uh, some people, I wonder... Some people wonder if I can go the distance. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Maybe it's time to set the record straight here on a few things. On a few things, just, you know, a couple things, a couple haters. This superstar impresses me. Sure, that's a face. No, it's a heel thing. Okay, choice. He's earned my respect. Comes out here every night and loses his heart and soul in the ring. Impressed me. I'm proud to call him a friend. Wait, what? The crowd didn't like that. I don't understand why, really. It's kind of baffling. Let's see what he's made of. Bobo Ray. Let's see what you're made of. It's anything other than hot air and sugar. He wants sugar? I ain't got none! Alright, that was a classic Scott Steiner TNA deal. Anyway, nope. No response. Face me like a man. Yeah, strong reaction. Are you sure this is how you want to play it, son? I can wait out here all damn day until you walk down the aisle and face me like a man. I guess I should expect nothing less from you. Hmm. That's about how it goes. Come on, Bully Ray. Let's do this. You know where to find me. Right here in the ring. I'll be ready whenever and wherever. Just say the word. We'll make this happen. I'll be waiting for you. Now, when in wrestling, how often does somebody come out to call out somebody else and that second person never shows up? Very rarely. That's pretty good for the popularity in the VC. I can appreciate that. So I just got my ass whipped by Randy Orton. Let us see what Dean Ambrose... I gotta change that damn hurricane. I keep saying that. Uh, let us see what kind of fight Dean Ambrose can put up here on this fine uh, Saturday. Saturday. So yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of po poking around. Uh, I haven't messed with a lot of the new features here in the game. I need to, I need to really figure out how to mess with the... Uh, the highlight reel stuff, the, uh, the the replays, haven't even touched it yet. Haven't had time. It has been kind of crazy this week, as you might have noticed from all of the videos on my channel. It's been a little bit uh, hectic, and I've got a bunch more planned. I'm hoping to do a tables match with Bailey and Becky Lynch at some point today. So expect that video tonight, probably around 10 p.m., most likely. Uh, and i got, like, more more VR videos to film, so... Those are definitely going to be in the tank, hopefully, um, but that's the plan. That is the plan. Ah, crap. No, Dean Ambrose. You got freaking Roman Reigns in your corner. Like, how can I possibly win this match? How? How? And, yep. Vicious elbow drops, says Michael Cole. Come on, I'm hitting R2, and it's just, you know, too fast, too slow. Too fast, too slow. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not playing on a high difficulty here, so... I don't understand. I don't understand. Nope. Yep. Got it. Face meets canvas. Foot meets spine. Taunt the man. Get, get my, my, my buff there. As you, as you may have seen last night... I did a Royal Rumble 
challenge and taunting no longer gives you meter like not in the way that it used to certainly it does here if you have the buff with the taunt you, you can get meter but if you want to just sit there and spam taunt and get meter doesn't work so that's kind of fucked that makes the rumble way wet i missed i missed nice makes it way harder side russian leg sweep uh so that's right that's right we're gonna hopefully hit the slug exploder and the salt shaker here's a fisherman suplex no or well a fisherman something uh not really sure what poop position dean ambrose grungy ass jeans so even though i wear jeans in real life all the time i was like you know what i'm not gonna wrestle in jeans I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to have an actual ring attire here. So, that's what I did. There's a slug exploder. You've got to be kidding me. Alright. So far, Roman Reigns has been a non-factor here. But, this is where he could be a factor in distracting. Yep, there goes the ref. Alright, now The ref's not distracted just yet. Here we go. Counter ref. And there's... There's... The Roman Reigns paying dividends for Dean Ambrose. You motherfucker. Well, I have Jaden Jett in my corner, so you know, that's going to be quality, right? Okay. Let's attempt it. Oh, he got his fucking comeback. I, I, I broke his comeback. Awesome. I've never had that work before. That's fucking hilarious. Miss, miss the heel kick. Miss the heel kick. Crap. He's got his signature. That's no good. Where's Jaden Jett helping me out? Come on now. I'm doing better here than Ambrose. I've got to get one more signature, one more finisher. That's going to be tricky at best. This is why I don't have limited uh, reversals. Because I can't get to the running. I just want to... Fucking broken ass game. Step over his feet. He's not 10 feet tall. This is not hard. Run him into the ring post. There we go. Fuck face. Stomp on a mud hole. Walking it dry. There we go. Nice leg draw. That's awesome. That's awesome. Taunt the man. Here we go. Three and a half star match so far. Give me my meter. Feel the bang. Give me my meter. I want it. I need it. DDT. Oh, busted wide open. How do you like that, Dean Ambrose? Senton. Pin him off the senton. I don't care. If I can make Roman Reigns waste his referee argument here and then perhaps get ejected, that is the goal. Oh, I'm at, I'm at a fucking stamina. Shit. Shit. I'm out of stamina. Suplex. I can't do the slug exploder with no stamina. So we're just letting the whole thing build back up. And then slug exploder. Boom. I was not buying it. wasn't a finisher, JBL. It was, a, it was his fucking signature. Three count on the slug exploder. I'll take it, Dean Ambrose. And we will break out, as we keep doing here, because uh, I find that to be most interesting. And uh, if it's gonna gain me, uh, if it's gonna gain me another half star, drops the elbow. Handling business. I owe you one more. Salt Shaker 2.0. And drop. And you can eat it, yeah. Eat it, yeah. I need I need new taunts desperately. So there's Bubba Ray, and there's no result for the rivalry, so that's okay. It was a, it was a four star match, and I got. Uh, a bunch of VC there, so I'll fucking take it. 
I did. I don't have Barricade Breaker, Triple H. All right, I am now locked into a rivalry with Bubba Ray Dudley. Even though I'm gonna be locked into a tag team rivalry, but hey, you know that's is what it is, I suppose. But tomorrow we're gonna fight Finn Balor on SmackDown. Stay tuned for that. As always, I'm a tax slug. More videos every day, and I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.